Hello all, welcome to part 13 of Extent Reports training series. In this session, I'm going to explain and practically demonstrate how to log the XML content into the generated Extent Reports. So let's get started. So how to log the XML content into the generated Extent Reports, okay? So what is this XML content, first of all? Let me give you an example guys. Okay, what's an XML content? Uh, if you want to get some sample XML, you just need to search for JSON ORG like this. And you'll be taken here. Uh, you just go with this uh, link guys, JSON example. Okay, JSON ORG you search and you'll get this link, JSON.org example. Click on that. You'll be taken to this page guys, where you will see some example samples of uh, JSON and samples of some XMLs. Okay, samples of JSON the same replica of this JSON in the XML, okay? So I'll take this uh, as a XML, okay? Copy this XML content. This part is XML, whatever I highlighted, right? I copied, right, is XML content. Here, I'll store into the XML content, okay? Is equal to, in double quotes, just paste whatever you copied from that website. Okay, like this, okay? You copy pasted that. Don't worry how it is aligned and all the, okay, just leave it to that. It is XML content, we copy pasted. Now, these XML, I want to print into the logs, okay? So what if I try to do this naturally? How? Let's say, uh, I'll try to do this like, uh, I'll first, to, first try to create a test in the extent reports. So how to create a test? Using the object reference of this extent reports and say dot create, test then i have to give some sample test name any test name let's say i'll give test one here as usual this one and this create test will return you the object of the extent test okay i'll say e test is equal to e test one is equal to otherwise is equal to so the return type of this uh, create test will be coming here declaring this object reference okay now using this object reference of the extent test then i'm going to call the method that is log, okay? So I have covered and explained about log in the previous sessions anyhow. So here, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to uh, go with this one, okay? I'll say status dot info, and here XML content, okay? Whatever the XML com content I want to log, I'll provide this. This is a normal way, okay? This is a normal way of doing the stuff. So whether the XML will be displayed in a logged into the generated extent reports in a normal fashion, uh, like uh, how it will be uh, logged into the ex generated extent reports. Let's see, okay? So in reality, the XML will look something like this. You see menu, menu, and properly organized, right? So, but if you try to log the XML content in this default way, where uh, it is dot log of status info XML content, if you directly provide, so how it's going to be generated, okay? It's anyhow open. I will try to open the generated extent report automatically because of this last line, which I covered in the previous sessions. Let's see, XML report will be created in that one of the log will contain the XML content, but how does that XML content look like? Let's see that. You see, first of all, whatever the XML I said is not, not displayed at all in the log. You see, info log is there, but the text is not there. You see, it's not uh, displaying the XML content. So what may be the problem? So the default way is not working like this. If you do, it doesn't work. Then what I have to do then? Then what I have to do guys? So for that to make working, I have to use some syntax guys, okay? So I have to say markup helper dot create code block, okay? XML content code dot language XML, okay? This one I have to write in place of this. I cannot directly write XML content and try to uh, log this XML content directly into the generated extent reports. But if that has to come, this extent, uh, this XML content has to get logged into the generated reports, then I have to use, uh, try to line this like this, a markup helper, right? Markup helper, okay? Markup helper. Then dot create code block. It's all from the extent reports only. Create code block. In that create code block, the two, two arguments you give. One is XML content, other one is a comma, comma. You just mentioned what is the, this content all about. 
okay the language that you are using in the content okay code language dot xml code language dot xml like this if you provide now this is going to log xml as it is into the generated extent reports okay we'll see that if you directly try to log the xml content by directly providing the string text here it's not going to work you are you are seeing right in the results report you see there is no details here uh, no xml is being displayed but if i do like this where I, if i use markup helper dot create code block and in that if i provide that xml content and mention the language that is there in this particular string that is code language dot xml specifically if i mention like this and try to run this let's see how the report will be generated and how the xml will be logged into the generated extent report you see now earlier xml was not getting logged into the this generated extent report but now it's getting generated and that too in a proper format you see the way the xml looks like the way the xml tags are organized the same way the xml got logged into this uh, generated xml report generated uh, extent report okay so you see you just compare this uh, whatever i copied into the code and uh, just compare whatever that got generated but if you don't provide that uh, markup helper and uh, okay and all those stuff okay if you don't mention this line markup helper dot create code block and then mention that and all the stuff the type of the content and all then xml will not be displayed in the generated logs okay you see like this the xml will not be generated if it has to be generated you have to use that markup dot markup helper dot create code block and uh, xml content code language dot xml you have to mention so hope guys so hope guys uh you understood how to log the xml content into the generated extent reports in this session so that's all for this session. In the next session, I'm going to cover another topic on extent reports. Till then, see you. Bye-bye.